Okay, just some quick pointers on how to get started using Ring Central to manage what's going on with your salesperson. First of all, you'll log on. You have to have an admin log on. So you log on to the admin portal. And then if you just go up at the top, go to reports and then call log. That'll take you to a screen that looks like this where you can see all the calls made uh, you know, during a certain time frame. Uh, a couple of pointers. Number one, you want to hear the, the recording of the call. You just click right here and it's going to play for you. Right there, you know, uh, you can download it if you want as a as a, a file, uh, or just play it right there. So you can change the time uh, time frame that you're searching. You can search for a specific phone number. So if you you know you want to hear a call that was made uh, to or with a certain customer, and their phone number uh, starts with a nine one six area code, you know, you could search by that there. Of course, I chose one that we don't have any, but uh, you get the idea. Um, and then also, right here, you can go in and filter even further when you click that little filter button. So was it inbound or outbound? Um, you know, this you might not, you might want to search only on uh, recorded calls only. And then also you can select specific extensions. So if I want to hear, you know, Jeffrey and Brent's calls specifically, I can select them um, to filter the results. Um, so that's how you get to the record, the call log and the call recordings. And then also what you're going to want to do is go to analytics. Okay, so also you want to go up here to reports and then analytics. And that'll open up a different window, a different tab. Um, and this is where you have uh, even more reporting options. And in particular, what you want to do is um, create some performance reports. So if you go over here to the little sidebar like that and go to performance reports. Okay. So you can create your own reports here. Um, so what I recommend doing is go right here and edit the users that are included in the report. So um, maybe I just want to specifically report on one person or two people, whatever, that are my salespeople, let's say. So now I've limited that report down to those two people. And um, then I can change the date range here if you want it. I would recommend just do a daily report. Leave everything else the same. Select the user that you want. And then you go up here and you save it. Okay? Give it a name. And it's giving me a nice little message there. And then here it says subscribe. So this is the key part. So you can say, I want this sent daily at, you know, whatever, midnight or 6 a.m. That's up to you. Let's go with 5 a.m. Excel file. I just use the PDF because it's easier to open up and look at on, on my phone and stuff. And then you put in the emails you want it sent to. So those could be your salesperson. Or they could be you. Um, and then you give it a, a name up here, and you select which pieces you want. Um, I just do the calls and the users. And you create the subscription, and now it's going to be sent to you every day automatically in your email. 